Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tuco from Music ID TV, and this is Use the News. So this story comes from Suze, a rock star advocate, which is kind of like a artist coaching service in which they have clients like Cypher Sounds, who's a comedian and a DJ best known with being associated with Breaking Rick Ross, as well as Rihanna. The article is also co-authored by Ariel Hyatt of Cyber PR. They took clients like Imagine Dragons, and I think I might have worked with Cyber PR at one point in time. I'd have to confirm, but it sounded quite familiar before this. And here are their three takes on why your last music release failed. Number one, you took your time writing and recording your music, but when it came time to actually release it, you released it with a sense of urgency and did not plan for actual release. Now in this article, it mentions measuring twice and cutting once, which is well known in the carpentry industry, which you measure a block of anything you're getting ready to cut twice and then you cut it once. You measure twice and then you cut it once. That means you take your time and prepare properly so when you're actually executing it, you're executing something that's been well thought out. So take a look at your last release and see if this was one of those reasons for you as well. Number two, you hired a publicist or a radio promoter and they did not get you the results that you wanted. The article is saying that if you do hire one of these people and they do not have any sort of team to coordinate with, like management or a booking agent to coordinate with, you kind of can fall flat on your face because you can't truly utilize someone in this position unless they have some sort of team to coordinate with. Now, I myself have hired a publicist in the past and although they were great publicists, it just did not work out because I was learning as I was going. Often publicists are looking for something exclusive, something new to sell to someone that they haven't heard already before. So good tip, if you're going to release an album, get with the publicist before you release anything because they'll help you plan that out. But I agree with them, might be nice to find a team to coordinate with that publicist if you're gonna get one. And number three, you put off learning how to properly release your music because you believe that once you release it, if it was good enough, people will gravitate towards it. All cream rises to the top theory. Pretty much they're saying in this article that if you do not plan, chances are if you build it and release it, they will not come, they will not listen because they don't know it even exist. And that was Susan Ariel Hyatt's take on three reasons why your last music release failed. I'm guilty of at least three of them with one or a couple of other releases and let us know in the comment section below if you are guilty of any of those as well. And I would definitely recommend not falling victim to any of those reasons again after watching this video. And if you like more videos like this, be sure to share with a friend, like, and subscribe. Once again, I am Tuco. You can follow me on Instagram at Tuco. I am, and I will catch you on the next video. Sayonara.